some moments ago, Go Ruck released the Rucker 4.0 onto their website. All the details, you can pre-order it now. I've had a chance to look at all the pictures, all the details. Let's talk about the good, the bad, and why you should still order the Go Ruck Rucker 4.0. Let's go, let's get into the details. I can't believe I had something on my shirt. Anyway, that's totally embarrassing, but this is a big day in GoRuck world. Why? Because they they finally announced the fourth generation of the Rucker. This is not the Rucker 4.0. This is a 3.0 in the 25 liter size, but today they announced the 4.0 and even better, the 4.0 long range series of bags. So finally we get these longer, bigger bags designed for everything that requires more space and it has all the awesome features that this 3.0 has with some new generation twists so today i'm going to tell you all about what we know about the 4.0 that ships mid-march so you can go and order this today link in the description to go and order your size in either the regular 20 25 liter sizes or the bigger sizes the 33 and 39 which look a lot like a gr2 so today i'm going to tell you everything we know about it I'll tell you what's the same compared to previous generations, mostly the 3.0. What's new in the 4.0, both in the regular size and now the long range size. Questions I still have, and then my final take on whether you should upgrade to the 4.0. Let's get to it. So again, I have not actually handled the 4.0. I know about as much as you do from the website and pictures that GoRuck has posted. So what is the same and what's different? First of all, what's the same compared to the previous generation, the third generation, which is still a fantastic bag. Still has the patch panel, still has the high visibility reflective strip in the front, still has three rows of molly, still has handles everywhere, still has drain holes. And again, those handles are great. Still has the 210 on the back. So everything you loved about the back of the Go Ruck 3.0 Rucker. Same straps, same, uh, they all come with the sternum strap and same lumbar. So really that's everything that we know is the same. We still can't get a padded hip belt with a 20 liter. We can get it with everything above a 20 liter size, but we still can't get it in this size. And we still can't get the hip belt in different colors separately if you wanted it on your 20 liter. Anyway, that's still one of my big headaches with the way they do it. What's new? Well, there's now two different sizes. Well, two different size categories. One is the 20, 25 liter, and they're virtually the same as the previous models with some new additions. First, and really the biggest change, and one of my kind of head scratcher moments is they removed the front pocket and zipper. Now overall, zippers have been reduced. They, you can obviously open up the bag with a zipper, but there's no external pocket, therefore no external zipper, and the inside pockets are now Velcro, there's no zipper. So that removes these, uh, really these weak points in the bag, like if you're gonna throw this thing around on concrete and you know the, the, the plate inside is gonna crush all those zippers, and I'm pretty sure this data came from Scars, who's just really tired of replacing zippers and ruckers. So they removed them in the smaller 20 and 25 liter sizes, and really, to be honest, I really don't care. I mean, I think that's fine. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, especially on the inside. Those pockets uh, really, or well, the Velcro is just fine. The outside pocket, though, is kind of a head scratcher because I normally keep a lot of quick access things in this front pocket, whether it's gloves or snacks. Or, so, or my headlamp if I'm on a rucking event. So I really do use this outside pocket quite a bit. And so that's where I'm like, if, I, if there's one big negative about what I learned today, it's, that's probably it. But I understand why they're doing it and really the 2025 liter doesn't have this external pocket. We now have the addition of a 500D rucker and the Multicam Tropic, Tropic Multicam, has a, is only made out of 500D, and so, or at least the GORUCK version. So they're, the Rucker in Multicam Tropic is a 500D bag. That's what I ordered. Why? Because I want to see what it's like, and I honestly think it might be the, it's, well, it's going to be the lightest of all the Ruckers, especially in the 2025 liter size that doesn't have the external pocket. So it'll be super lightweight. On the inside of the bag, we have some minor changes. And again, not a 4.0. But the inside big pockets, or the inside pockets, are going to be Velcro, like I've already said. No real other differences, cosmetically, that I can see. Some pictures here I'll post of what they posted. The interior pockets look to be near identical. Maybe a bigger flap on the larger edition. So that's really the only thing I can tell from the photos. It might be a little different. Still don't have the ability to carry a 45-pound plate in the 20 
liter size, which has really been my biggest complaint. You can carry it, yes, you can carry it in the elastic pocket, but it's not totally secured. I would rather have it be secured in all of the rucks. So I think that's some, some pocket design still left to be done. However, they have improved the padding on the top of all the pockets that you can see in some of these photos, which I think will be a game changer for those of us that are going to bear crawl or do some other event where those thing that 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 bag's gonna be on your back and potentially bumping you in the head. It's good to have a little extra padding. So I'm a big fan of that. Looking forward to see what that is uh, in practice. There's two additional D-rings. There's still the D-ring in the top of the bag that we've, you know, that, that's how you would hang your hydration bladder. But then there's two on the side. Not really sure what those are for. Maybe a bungee cord to hold your bladder down. I don't know what I would secure on the side with those D-rings. So that's kind of a, a question I have that we'll see how that is used in practice. So that wraps up all the changes that I'm aware of for the 20 and 25 liter. Now, where we're gaining in the 4.0 generation though is the bigger size. The 33 and 39 liter Ruckers are something they've never done before. And really it's not that stretch because really all they're doing is combining the GR2 line and the Rucker line. So you get all the fantastic features of the Rucker, the 210, all the other additional features of in the Rucker, but you're getting it in the bigger size so you can do longer range events. So long range, what would I need the long range for? I personally can't see myself needing a long range bag. If you're gonna somebody that's gonna train for a team assessment or some of the other longer, bigger events, uh, you might want that bigger bag because of the overall capacity. For me, not gonna be a, a big of a game changer. The other really big thing about the 33 and 39 liter Ruckers, and here it is. They still have the external zip pocket. They still have the internal zip pockets, the same configuration as is GR2. Link here to my GR2 video just to see all the interior features. So it appears from the photos to have all the same features of a GR2 internally with the zippered pockets from different angles, which would be great if you're doing a long range event, especially something where you need to access some of those items. But the big thing is that the inside main compartment has the ability to carry the plate. So again, you get all the features of a rucker, but now you can carry a plate in a GR2 size with all the size that could ever you could ever want. Tons of space and room for everything that you want. Uh, during a GORUCK event and probably way more. Another thing that's new with this is a price increase. So I bought, not this bag, but I bought um, a Rucker uh, in September of 21 and I paid $185. Now the prices go up from anywhere from $215 to $255 which is a pretty significant price increase. Now I know the global supply chain issues are um, affecting everybody and so I'm not that surprised at the price increase. You're getting a fantastic bag that has a SCARS guarantee. So really, yes, I hear you, the price increase is dramatic, but then again, uh, in this day and age, I think it's worth it. That brings me to the questions I have for the Rucker 4.0. No outside pocket. I'm not really sure that I'm a big fan of that, so I'm really gonna hold on to my 3.0. Uh, really for that external pocket that I'm a big fan of. I'm um, still no way to secure that 45 pound plate and you can carry it in an elastic pocket on the 20 liter, but you can't carry it uh, totally secured um, if you're training for other events with the 20 liter bag. If you've got the 25 liter bag and up, no problem. It's got that dual pocket configuration so you can carry everything you want up to 75 pounds. No small frame, No will the small frame ever come back? I don't know, we'll wait to see if they release the small frame um, in the future. What colors are gonna be available? Right now there's only four colors and the 20 and 25 liter are in multicam, tropic and black and then the larger sizes 33 and 39 are black and coyote still can't buy a hip belt that's one of my biggest gripes so far especially if you have a 20 liter bag if you got anything more then it's going to come with the the bag so no big deal um the zippers so they're not good on a 20 and 25 liter but they're okay on the larger bags and i can sort of see that i suppose if you had the longer range bag you're gonna have a lot of other stuff packed in it and so maybe you'd have the ability that plate's not going to crush any of those zippers and really your longer range more stuff you'd want the zipper security on all those pockets so i get it uh just a little bit of a head scratcher of why that only the 2025 liters have no zippers and a velcro you'd think they put at least some velcro on the bigger bags but we'll see how it works out one of my other big questions is Will it ship early? They say mid-March, are we gonna get them early? We'll see, maybe they're waiting on a boat to be delivered and then we'll uh, get them a little earlier. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. And then what colors are coming next? Pretty limited options right out of the gate, but maybe we'll see some more colors 
uh, arrive mid-summer or in the fall, who knows, but I'm sure we'll see an expansion of colors in the uh, near future. And I'm really excited for this 500D Multicam Tropic just to see if it's really uh, that much lighter than the standard 1000D bags that we've been used to seeing. All right, so let's wrap it up. What's my take on the Rucker 4.0 with everything we know today? First of all, the 3.0 was a revolutionary change in the rucking world. Fantastic bag. The 210 on your back is just fantastic. The drain holes, um, all the handles, uh, perfect. The new pockets, be able to carry up to 75 pounds in the 25 liter bag. Just make the 3.0 one of my favorite bags of all time, probably the top three that I've ever had. So the 4.0, I wouldn't characterize it as a revolutionary change compared to what the 3.0 did for us. But it is a very important incremental change to the point where the lighter, the smaller bags are going to get some improvements in weight because they don't have zippers and they're not going to get crushed. Um, just fewer failures during a rucking event that that would might make a big difference for you. You know, what's my recommendation? If you have a 1.0 or a 2.0 rucker, then I would definitely consider the 4.0 uh, as an upgrade option. If you've got a 3.0 already, I can't really see a reason to upgrade to the 4.0 right now, just because I haven't seen it. And really from the features, from the feature differences, I really don't see that much of an improvement. Yes, it'll be nice to have an extra padding, a little extra padding on the top of that pocket so it doesn't hit your head. Whether that's worth it for me to upgrade, the loss of the pocket in the front is really kind of my biggest negative to the point of, maybe not giving a recommendation to upgrade to the 4.0 if you have a 3.0. If you got the other generations of bags, then I do think it's worth the upgrade because of the advances that you're going to get in the 4.0 that you just don't have in the first and second generations of Rucker. The biggest reason I'm going to say that if for anybody to upgrade, if you're going to get one right now, and what did I order? I ordered the Multicam Tropic and the 500D because I think without this front pocket and the 500D overall, I'm very excited to see A, how light this bag is compared to the standard ruckers. And I know we're gonna load it up with a ton of stuff, so saving a few ounces in the material isn't necessarily a game changer, but I am interested in seeing how it does long-term in terms of holding up to a 1000D. And really 500, 1000D, I, got, I did a video on that. You're not gonna see dramatic differences in long-term use of these bags. And so potentially it's gonna be a better fitting bag out of the box. And so they're probably as excited as I am to see how that 500D does out in the field in all their events being totally abused. So that's it, my take, definitely upgrade if you've got an older generation, if you're on a 3.0, maybe wait a little bit, see what's happening, but for most people, it's definitely worth checking out. And links in the description to both the 20, 25 liter bags and offering and the larger 33 and 39 editions of the Rucker 4.0. And really my next thing is waiting to get um, one of these bags in hand, again, this is a 3.0, not a 4.0, and testing it out, seeing what, it, what it's like and how it compares to the third generation of Rucker. So that's it, so that's it. That's why you should head to the website right now, link in the description. Go get yourself a, a pre-order look of the Rucker 4.0. See if it's right for you, both the regular and now the long range edition. And I hope to get those uh, into the studio soon just so we can take a look, see all the features firsthand and give you a quick uh, look at them when they get released. But until then, all we have is the pictures and videos that CoRuck provides. Go check it out on the website. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna order it. That's it, I'm gonna continue. Enjoy this beautiful weather here in Georgia.